Cheers, guys. New controversy brewing in the beer industry. Miller Lite is now facing a potential boycott over an ad celebrating female brewers and offering up a lighthearted mea culpa over all the beer ads that have featured women in bikinis in the past. Watch. Here's a little known fact. Women were among the very first to brew beer ever. Centuries later, how did the industry pay homage to the founding mothers of beer? They put us in bikinis. Wow. Look at this shit. Wild. It's time beer made it up to women. So today, Miller Lite is on a mission to clean up not just their shit, but the whole beer industry's shit. Miller Lite has been scouring the internet for all this shit and buying it back so that he can turn it into good shit for women brewers. First, we turn the bad shit into compost. Then we feed compost to worms. Push out beautiful fertilizer. That good shit helps farmers grow quality hops. Send any shit you got into Miller Lite and they'll turn that into good shit too. Yeah, girl. Here's the thing, Morgan. So okay. my family has a winery. I know what it's like to oh. dig in the dirt and, and be a girl doing it. But at the same time, I was an NFL cheerleader. We were sponsored by Coors Light. We showed our midriffs in our uniforms. I've seen the picture. <laughs> okay. I'm a little jealous. Just but I have say. no problem whatsoever with a woman in a bikini promoting a brand. And then it's my choice as a consumer yeah. which band I buy. But which band I, I buy. But here now, Miller Light is essentially saying, let's just wipe away the past. Thanks, woke culture. Now now we're up to speed. Well, I just want to say we've been really good friends for a long time, and you've never offered me free wine. It's not the first time I'm learning, so I'm offended. That's coming, um, that's I, was just, I just spent the last week at the beach in Florida, where I am from, with my family near in St. Pete, near where you're from, uh, and everybody was in bikinis on the beach. So I'm not sure who this goes to, because women clearly still want to wear bikinis. And you know, speaking of that, 20 years ago, in 2003, I won the swimsuit competition at the Miss Florida Yes! Right. yes! I want someone to find the picture. Yes. I don't think it's on the internet because I want everyone to think I still look like that. So <laughs> you do. I, maybe right. someone will leak it and then I'll be, I, I do not look like that anymore. Oh my gosh. Yes, the whole all. thing is so silly. People still wear bikinis. Who cares? Yeah. And, they, and I'm in Florida on the beach this weekend. Everyone had on a bikini drinking beer. I, I, I had a margarita. story yesterday That's of right. your grandmother, your Nima, oh, who, yeah. who yeah. rocked a, a swimsuit in her 90s. She was wearing a one piece, but she looked good, man. And she was in her <laughs> 90s. Uh, Meanwhile's hot. But um, putting that aside, Look, this ad, I mean, clearly an effort to target women. So we're just going to shout woman 50,000 times, throw in 13 vulgarities, and boom, we've got women. Like, what a reductionist way to view women. I actually was pretty offended by this ad. Like, inspire me. Make me laugh. Mm -hmm. Like the Real Men of Genius commercials used to do with Bud Light many decades ago, or a decade ago, I should say. Yeah. Make me laugh. Inspire me. Don't reduce me to this. Harris, it reminded me of the M&Ms, where when they rebranded them, they took the women who had heels on and gave her shoes. Because somehow, to be a woman, you couldn't be that type of feminine anymore. To Kaylee's point here, apparently now to be a woman in 2023, you well, need to wear a sweatshirt and jeans and be in the dirt and not wear a bikini. Yeah. They, they struck the stilettos for some flats. And, and that's also very good when you're in a bikini to have those flats <laughs> on at the beach. Um, I, I really am fascinated and baffled by who the audience is for this. And is this targeting going to make them money? Because if it's not, then why do it? So I want to know, who do they think wants to buy their beer based on a woman who only knows one cuss word, by the way, and she says it over and over and over. When you get to 11, because I watched the whole ad, I'm like, if I wanted a cuss, I could think of one word more than one word. I mean, it's the whole thing is just really odd. Yeah. Resident expert. Right, I've been pro bikini from day one. That's right. Uh, That's I will right. say this: Why are they messing with beer drinkers? Between what just happened with Bud Light, mm -hmm. why would Miller Light be doing this? And the other thing would be, uh, in particular, this is for Women's History Month, and they don't want to look back on women's history and say that the bikini ever had a role. The other thing is, I think we're going to be forced to pick a third beer. Is it going to be Corona? Is it going to be Land Shark? Is it going to be Milwaukee's Best? Modelo. Because I Modelo, I, I guess Modelo. that's going to be it. Because I do not know why a marketing person who wants to keep their job would do something like this. Yeah. I, uh, I get the it. same with Mill Light, and we might end up at the same way as, yeah. as Bud Light. Go back to the Billy Martin, George Steinbrenner Just days. Just beer. With the yeah. athletes so having now fun. Now I want a beer yeah. with lunch. Car John washes. And going through the wall. <laughs> yeah. I'm with you, Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> now I need a beer. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.